part of the process of the MRF. Here you can see recycling that has been delivered, ready to go through the start of the system. Just over there you'll see our digger driver that's going to push the material up and he's going to load a machine in the corner which gives us a regular feed through the process. pre-sort cabin. So we saw the material being delivered into the main tipping hall. It gets loaded into the machine in the corner. This is the pre-sort cabin, the first cabin that the material will come through. And this is the first cabin that they perform a quality control check. So the first thing they do here is to take off any contamination, remove any films for the closed loop story that you may have seen recently and remove any cardboard and any clothing that we don't ask for in the bins but historically sometimes people still put clothing in the bin. All the material that they don't take off is left on the belt to go through the rest of the process which is mainly paper and plastics. So when the material has been through pre-sort it goes over some separation machinery. So this is making what material is left go two ways. So we have a big oscillating sink that takes out all the small bits and pieces like broken glass, etc, etc. So the paper goes to the top of the belt and through the paper line, the plastics and cans will bounce down and go through the plastics line this way. When the plastics and cans bounce down and come through the plastics and can side of the process, it can sometimes take some paper and cardboard with it. So we have almost a mini pre-sort here. We have someone working in here taking off any cardboard and any paper. Just outside this cabin we have a very large packet which will take off any of the steel cans. So then that way we know in the plastic cabin any of the cans that are left our aluminium, because aluminium is a magnetic. So once the paper has come through the paper side of the process, here we have what's called the paper cabin. Here we have four people performing a quality control check to make sure but what goes through the cabin has to be pure paper. Quality control. So they'll be taking anything off that isn't paper and putting it into the relevant chutes to go back through the various sides of the process. So this is the end product from the paper cabin. This paper stays in the UK, goes to Norfolk and is turned back into newsprint. It has to be the best quality paper that we can present and that's what Exeter again does very well. Here we are in the plastic cabin and this is what Exeter does differently than anywhere else in the South West. So you will see milk bottles separated, you will see clear pot bottles separated 
You'll see coloured bottles such as detergent bottles, fabric softener bottles and the like. Pots, tubs and trays will also be separated and plastic film will always be separated too. So all the films that, that you have at home, um, there are some trade films as well, we work with trade clients. We separate for quality, we bail, we send up into the Midlands and this gets turned back into sacks that we will use across Exeter in the litter bins. At this end of the plastic cabin, this is where we sort out the aluminium and we're also able to take off any more paper and card that may have made its way through this part of the process. Here we have a large perforated drum that takes out the gas of the clear bottles, such as coke bottles, etc. When the guys in the plastic cabin put the different plastics in the different chutes when we separate the plastic, here we have a team of guys that operate the balers. There you can see our aluminium ready to be palletised and sent to market. So I put the forks through there, that's why the wires are all ready. So when they strap it all up, we don't have to send the pallet so we can keep the pallet as well. So it takes a lot of practice and skill to make the right palletless cube. Here is our cardboard, taken off in the pre-sort cabin, bailed, ready for sale on the market. In the UK there's an oversupply of carb. We can process around three to four million tonnes of carb a year. We actually produce around five to six million tonnes per year. So there's a, there's a UK approach to recycling it and there's also an export side. We're able to separate the good quality cardboard and present it to either a domestic or an export market. So here you can see where we've bailed and condensed all the material ready for sale from clear bottles to milk bottles, coloured bottles and even the bins from your homes when they are no longer ready to be used again we will clean them, we will dismantle them ready to be recycled into new bins or boxes or containers. This area is also our main storage area for glass as you can see the noisy gentleman there pushing up the glass from all the bring banks in Exeter. Uh, we have our steel cans here. We have our scrap metal here. That needs to... Uh... How does being part of Ocean Recovery Project or working with Odyssey Innovation, how does that benefit Exeter? What do we do? So our part of the process is because we have the baling facilities and we recycle all the normal types of plastic, we can also bale and get ready for market the fishing nets. This enables Exeter to be part of the process because we own the material. Once we collect it and we process it, we own the material. So this is, this is the same as your milk bottles, uh, this material. So here, there is a third of a tonne of trawler nets that have been taken um, from Brixham. This is Brixham, we work with Tor Bay um, Unitary Authority. You can see some really clean net. So these are offcuts when the trawler nets are made. So we get it right from production. And then you can see there are areas here that have come from the trawlers that have been used. So you've got production and post use. And here we have nylon gill net. Nylon is a very sought after plastic. Um, so being able to separate it, which is something that Exeter does well, as I said, around separation of plastics, being able to separate it and present a quality product to the marketplace maximises the income, it stabilises Exeter City Council's place in the project, um, and we're able to assist across the peninsula recycling of nylon and trawler nets.
Good morning, here we are at Exeter City Council's MRF, the Material Reclamation Facility. Today I'm going to take you on a bit of a tour, just let the train go by. <laughs> Good morning, here we are at Exeter okay. City. <laughs> right, going in the outside. Tank train. <laughs> here we are at Exeter City Council's Material Reclamation Facility, or the MRF. We'll describe the process. Unfortunately, you can't be here with us today. <laughs> Are you able to splice that or have I got to go again? <laughs> okay. 